Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Funhouse Church. It's Stella Parton again this week. I have some really good scripture for you, but I found something this morning while I was studying for uh, Funhouse, and I just wanted to share a little bit of it with you. I don't know if any of you know about this or not, but it's just amazing to me. And I visited this place and I found this little pamphlet here. And I'm gonna to have to wear some glasses because it's so tiny, even if I did have my LASIK surgery. So it says here, this happened, uh, or this is up in um, uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains of uh, Patrick County, Virginia. And it's the fairy stone. I don't know if you've heard about it or not, but it looks just exactly like a cross and it's a crystal. And I have uh, collected several of them myself and it goes like this. In a quiet sunny glade nestled among the rugged foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in Patrick County, Virginia, a section made renowned by the fact that old King Pocaton uh, once held undisputed procession uh, there, and it was discovered a single quarry of the far uh, famed Virginia Fairy or Lucky Stone. They call it Fairy Stone, Virginia, so I've been there. Uh, these little uh, curiosities, which range in, sight, in size from one fourth of an inch to two inches, um, bear in mind most unique, some of the shapes all the shapes or crosses are the ones I, all, I found were, and it's nature's own way of showing us something. And I just wanted to share that with you. If you ever get a chance to go there, it's in Fairy Stone, Virginia, and it's Patrick County, Virginia, and it's in the Blue Ridge Mountains. And go pick yourself up a few fairy stones like I did. They are absolutely wonderful. But what I was thinking when I was, uh, uh, reading this this morning I was thinking about the scriptures where Jesus said when he was uh, going into his entry into Jerusalem and they were the Pharisees and some of the uh, over here let me make sure I let you know where this is this is Luke chapter 19 and I'm going to start at uh, verse 40 no 39 and some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him master rebuke thy disciples and he answered and said unto them i tell you that if these should hold their peace he's referring to the disciples the stones would immediately cry out and when he was come near he beheld the city and wept over it over jerusalem saying Verse 42, if thou hadst known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. For the days shall come upon thee that thine enemies shall cast a trench around thee and compass thee round and keep thee in on every side and shall lay thee even with the ground and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave uh, in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. So when I read that, I was thinking about how people today don't depend on God for their um, you know, comfort and for their guidance. And on down here in uh, verse 45, it said, and he went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold therein and them that bought. Again, you know, I was talking about this last week. Saying unto them, it is written, my house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. Ironically, I've been moving a lot of stuff around this week and I found this little songbook. It's a little hymnal. It's called The Best of All. And I also found in here that my mother's handwriting is on it. And she has written her name in this because this was her book. My, and it's uh, printed in shape notes only. And I found a song in here. There's many songs in here that we sang in our little church, the House of Prayer, my granddad's church. And my granddad was a school teacher, but he was also a minister. But he taught uh, shape note singing. And I'm going to try to do one of her songs today, if I can. It's been a long time since I've tried this, but I want to try it for you. It's called Where the Roses Never Fade. never fade 
she used to sing that for us quite often. I hope you've enjoyed my little talk today and I'll be back next week for Fun House and I love you. God bless you.